Fighting and saving lives during a bloody battle without even a single weapon is truly unheard of. And that's why we bring up this man for his incredible contribution during World War II. Desmond Doss, popularly known as the real Haxo Ridge soldier, took courage to save the lives of 75 soldiers during one of the deadliest battles of World War II in the Pacific. Although it wasn't a walk in the park, he managed to do it and walked out with only an arm injury, earning him the coveted Medal of Honor for his amazing service during the war. How he did it so well to emerge a victor, you're about to find out. Be sure to watch this video till the end to never miss a point. Now let's get straight into the video. For those of you who got a chance to watch the battle at Haxo Ridge on the island of Okinawa, you can bear witness that it wasn't an easy one. It was a close combat fight with heavy weaponry and honestly in a fight of that nature. You can be sure, thousands of soldiers lost lives not just from the Japanese side but also from American soldiers who suffered the same consequence. But for one man it was lucky he survived and he didn't just want to let the rest of the soldiers perish in the hands of their enemies. He took a leap of faith to save the lives of soldiers who at the time of rescue looked like they'd succumb to the injuries. But luckily, they managed to survive thanks to the efforts of Doss. And it's due to this awesome and brave story of Desmond Doss that many people just wanted to know more about Doss, where he was born, his beliefs, his professional career, and his family life, among many other personal details about Doss. I'm pretty sure you're also asking the same questions, right? Well, stick with me if you want to discover more about this soldier who never carried a weapon. Desmond Doss was born in Lynchburg, Virginia, to carpenter William Thomas Doss and homemaker and shoe factory worker Bertha Edward Doss. Doss grew up borrowing a leaf from her mother, who was a staunch Seventh-day Adventist who used to instill in him the values of Sabbath observance, pacifism, and a vegetarian lifestyle. And even as he grew up, Doss would eventually turn into one of the greatest devotees of the Seventh-day Adventist. Now, let's get straight into the video. Growing up in Lynchburg, Virginia, with his older sister Audrey and younger brother Harold in the Fairview Heights neighborhood, Doss attended Park Avenue Seventh-day Adventist Church up to eighth grade. When the Great Depression hit, his family struggled to make a living. And as a result, Doss sought to work at the Lynchburg Lumber Company to help support his family. He would later work as a joiner in a shipyard in Newport News, Virginia, a few years before World War II began. In April 1942, Doss decided to enlist in the military at Camp Lee, Virginia. Doss would then undertake his training at the recreated 77th Infantry Division at Fort Jackson in South Carolina. He married Dorothy Pauline Shutt in August 1942, with whom they had one child, Desmond Tommy Doss Jr., born in 1946. However, Doss was not just an ordinary soldier. He was quite peculiar, more specifically because he had taken a strict observance of one of the Ten Commandments, Thou shalt not kill. But besides that, he had a personal belief in not carrying a weapon into any battle and not working on the Sabbath. I wonder what kind of a soldier Doss was, because honestly, it would be close to impossible for a soldier to survive in the military without carrying weapons or without killing the enemy. Generally, like any other soldiers, medic soldiers have the freedom to carry weapons for defense, only that they are not allowed to fire since by doing so, they risk being fired at by the enemy. Doss joined the 2nd Platoon, Company B, 1st Battalion, 307th Infantry Division as a medic. And going into the battle that happened in April 1945 on the hellish Maida escarpment, Doss carried no weapon but just a Bible and his faith in God. Ideally, the battlefield was on top of the escarpment, which was nicknamed Haxel Ridge for a reason, and that's because of its treacherous cliff. Although most people didn't realize how best to make use of the escarpment to win the battle, Doss had a secret that made him a hero during the Battle of Okinawa. Despite a barrage of gunfire and explosion, Doss managed to crawl on the ground from one wounded soldier to another as he executed his mandate as a medic. Even though the mission seemed near impossible, and his battalion was ordered to retreat, Doss did the opposite. He remained on the battlefield running alone into the kill zone as he carried wounded soldiers to the edge of the cliff and single-handedly lowered them down the cliff to safety. And for each soldier he saved, he said a prayer aloud, Lord, please help me get one more. Indeed, his strong faith in God worked miracles and by the end of the day, he had saved about 75 soldiers. Das received a heroic welcome despite having lost his arm in the battle by Japanese fire. He was awarded the Medal of Honor for his bravery in the Battle of Okinawa. A few years after the war, Das was diagnosed with tuberculosis which left him disabled. 
He died later on March 23, 2006, due to difficulty in breathing. So that was it for today, guys. If you find out something interesting and knowledgeable, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to this channel for more amazing videos. Thanks for watching.